So earlier this year, your agency announced a multi-year research study looking at the long-term outcomes among adults infected with COVID. What do you hope to learn? What's the goal? Well, we think we're, we're coming from the government perspective and from the perspective of having real experience doing this in New York City. You'll recall after the tragedy of September 11th, we set up the World Trade Center Health Registry um, and on the basis of following people for decades, we continue to follow them, billions of dollars of support, resources, disability payments to victims and their families have emerged because of the understanding generated by that cohort. And that's a core principle of public health. Just look at cohort studies like the Framingham Heart Study, our nurses and physicians health studies, these have all advanced our understanding of disease. And so what we're doing with this long COVID cohort study is trying to define what are our obligations and our responsibilities to the people of New York and to do that on the basis of real evidence and understanding. And so we will be following over 10,000 New Yorkers over the next several years using cross-sectional um, survey instruments to really assess not only the physical and clinical impacts of what is being termed long COVID and that constellation of symptoms, um, but also the social, economic, um, and other impacts, community impacts, family impacts, mental health impacts, so that we can really understand what is the long range um, effect and therefore design long range responses um, as government.